Okay, the final feature of this keyboard is you can control the envelope of the sound. And the envelope has three different elements on this keyboard. Um, attack, decay and release. Now, the envelope is literally how a note comes in from its starting point to its end point. Okay, so if you've got a note that just comes straight in and when you let go of it, it goes straight out again and it goes straight to its maximum volume when you play the note, you could draw a diagram of that that would look like a rectangle. So you come along this way, there's no sound at all, all of a sudden, bang, the note comes straight on, it stays on at maximum volume and then it goes straight off again. Okay, now that's got a certain type of envelope. The way the sound comes in is called the attack. Once it gets to its maximum volume, whether it dies off again then, it's called the decay. Okay, and there is another uh, controller called the sustain, which is then how long it stays at its sustain volume. Um, and then eventually you've got what's called the release, which is when you let go of the note at the end, um, whether the note carries on afterwards, after you've let go of it. So you've got attack, decay, sustain, and release. On this keyboard, there is no sustain control. It's just attack, decay, and release. So if I play a note with a zero attack, it comes straight in. Okay, but if I alter that attack, let's do it this way. Oh, I've got it set on LFO, that's why it's not working. Let's put it on balance. I'm sorry, on envelope. Right, if I change it now, the note's kind of fading in because the attack isn't a sudden attack now, it's a slow attack. Compared to that's the attack. Okay. The decay is how much that sound dies off when you've press the note, so. It's not really doing much on this sound, so I'm afraid that's not a very good demonstration, that one, but um, the other one that's very, very obvious is the release, which is when you let go of the note. At the moment, the release is on zero, so there's no continuation of that note when I let go of it. If I increase the release, the note then hovers on for quite a long time after I've let go of it, and also can reduce that down a little bit. So the envelope is like the shape of the note, the way the note comes in and the way it dies off a little bit and then the way it, let, it goes when you let go of the note. And that's the end of all the different revision um, things for the keyboard skills editing test. Good luck guys. See you after Easter.